All right, as you further disassemble, you're gonna have to get the gasket off the block portion, the crankcase. Uh, be very careful. And when you're scraping any residue on that surface, because it has to be absolutely clean, do everything possible to keep any debris from going into that crankcase. Uh, that's where problems will start. Once you get that cleaned up, which you can either do right now after you take it apart or later, I recommend putting a plastic bag over the entire power head to keep dust and debris out of your cylinders. Uh, just the cleaner you keep it inside there, the happier your motor's going to be. Because that's the internal workings of it right there. And there's a lot of roller bearings and close tolerance surfaces in there that, that just don't put up to grit and grime and dirt very well. So just keep that in mind as you're going. All right, we've got uh, the reed pipe cleaned up. This is the old reed, stainless steel reed, and there was nothing wrong with any of them. I was just paranoid, but this is the new reed. We're going to start reassembly. And it's really easy. There's pins on the reed plate, and there's holes in the reed itself. We'll just line the pins up. There it is. Simple as that. Pops right on there. Next, we have a two-piece washer. One's a washer with a little taper on it. It's a special washer. And then this is a locking washer, which will this tab will lock down on the head of your bolt. So we're going to put this on here. And it, too, has holes for the pins. And then this washer goes on with a tab down into this little slot. Alright, now we're going to take one of our bolts. We're going to apply some thread locking compound on it. And I use this stuff kind of liberal. Start the bolt into the hole. Run it on down. Tighten it up. And we're trying to get one of the flats of the bolt to line up with this. So it takes a little doing, a little finagling, but because that is going to bend up on a flat right there, not on a, a pointy spot. So we'll just see if we can take it just a hair tighter and get it on that. Just a little more. All right, now this little tab will bend up on the flat, and I'm going to start it with this little screwdriver, get it bent up some, I'm going to take these pliers, right there, that's all there is to it. That tab and the locking compound will keep this bolt from backing out and getting into your cylinder. It's all just it's it's really simple once you get this far into it. Uh, getting everything apart and ready to go is a little bit of a trick. But Once we get all these on then we'll reassemble it, put new gaskets on, put it back on the motor, put it all back together and be running in a matter of a couple hours.